I'm Dr. Michael Craig and we're at the final session of the Powerful Goals program. <laughs> 30 minutes ago I got this email from someone who I worked on when I first started doing this process. It wasn't called Logical Soul back then, but I did start doing a process uh, using muscle testing and healing techniques and that type of thing. And this lady, her name is June, June Ortez, and she just sent me an email out of the blue. And I haven't even had a chance to respond to her yet, but I wanted to read it to you and, uh, because it, it, it really got me. And so I just wanted to share it with you. I'm now 74, almost 75 in June. Do you know how hard I've looked for you and tried to find you? You helped me more than anyone else ever had. I had the stage 4 breast cancer in 1992 and they told me I had three months to live. You were doing the muscle testing and a few other things. Whatever you did, Michael Craig, sure did good for me. I have many physical things going on and I just keep going like the Energizer Bunny. I read the page and am so happy you're happily married and happy. You are a wonderful person. I will never forget you. My three sons are all grown and doing well and beyond my expectations. My oldest boy lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico and has a heating and air company, a rental property that drives him crazy. The middle son, Jason, I'm sure I brought him to you once, was the 2007 Olympic bronze medal judo winner in his class and, and Shane, the youngest, owns Sorteria Productions in Atlanta. They do video productions and movies and win those gold statues. When they were teenagers, I thought they would all end up in prison. <laughs> I, it was really nice. I saw, I'm not responsible for that, she is. I, I saw your online free course. I'm going to take it. I am so happy to have found you. I have thought of you so often. You're a beautiful healing soul, June. So this just sort of got, got me, and I wanted to share it's that. Its full with you. title is Logical Soul Powerful Goals Program. And I set it up initially to be a, a vehicle so that we can select a project. The participants can select a project and complete that project and stuff will come up. How many of you have ever tried to do something and stuff comes up? Anybody? Almost everybody. So what happens is when stuff comes up, that's really life telling you this is what your life is. This is your life. <laughs> Welcome to your life. And, and we have sort of like an inner thermostat that's set. And when stuff comes up, that the thermostat tends to try to reset that. Take us down a peg, whatever that is. When stuff comes up, we use the logical soul to sort of handle that stuff, to be able to work through it, to be able to, first of all, find out through the use of muscle testing. And that's when I press on the arm, use a strong arm test, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. We find out through feed, feedback, biofeedback, what is the issue, whether it's yes or a no. And so we get a yes or a no answer when we do this type of biofeedback. And in doing so, we can sort of navigate into the subconscious and find out what exactly is happening, what are the decisions that are set up that created this particular situation that's going on because every program if you've done uh, computer programming you know that every program is based on a whole series of switches decisions essentially that are going on inside the computer billions and even trillions that we live in our life is is a common compilation of all the decisions we've ever made in our life and if those decisions are sort of set what I call hidden decisions which are sort of stuck away beyond our conscious access then we could be running our lives Actually, it could be running our lives without our conscious feedback, without our ability to actually consciously change that. And when we set up a goal, say, I want to, you know, I want to make, you know, ten thousand dollars this month, that subconscious feedback just keeps coming back to us. Over seventy-six percent of our thoughts are negative, all the time. People walk around with that, and so how do you counteract that that power? Uh, we have these sensitivities. We have these things inside that are just sort of keeping us from from accomplishing what we set out to do. And really, if we, if we make a goal, what's to stop us from achieving that goal, quite, quite literally? Uh, well, there are two things. There's setting a goal, and then there's achieving a goal. And those are essentially two separate processes. The setting of the goal is a conscious mind process. Achieving the goal comes from actually the subconscious or the, the hidden conscious decisions that have set up that, that power that moves us through life.